Jaytown here. Today we're looking at the next dungeon mode, which is Space Temple. If you go here in our dungeon tab, next to the dragon cliffs we recently talked about, you'll find Space Temple. Space Temple is basically a bunch of battle puzzles that unlock as you progress to certain points in the game, and you complete the battle puzzle before it. When you go into them, you'll be presented with a story with a light introduction of what you're supposed to do within the battle. If you ever kind of forget or need a clue, there's this flagstone here that will tell you and give you a clue what to do. These little enemy campsites right here, those are where battles will take place. Inside of those, you select your team. It tells you who you're going to be facing. And the entire battle puzzle is one overall encounter. So if you find through here and you lose a hero, that hero is then incapacitated for the rest of the battle puzzle unless you get to a certain revival point that can bring back or heal some of those heroes. So the goal is to get through the entire thing in one swoop with not losing too many heroes and get all six of the rewards. It'll show you what each of them will give you. And these rewards are pretty juicy. So you'll progress through here. You'll tell, it'll tell you what to do. Obviously, looking around here, the first step, what we need to do is to defeat this battle here, light this brazier, and then it would move this statue out of the way to continue. Here being one of the fountains where you can actually heal some of your heroes. You can see the level gets a little bit more complex as you go through. Kind of got to figure out where you want to go. This right here where you can revive a hero. And you can see there are no chests on here because I have already completed this in a previous game. Now, here is one of the coolest features of these battle puzzles, right? Say you play through and you get three of the chests, right? And then you lose too many heroes, you don't have enough to continue to go on. You can back out of there. You can reset and still keep the rewards you've gotten. Now, you'll have to play through the entire battle puzzle again, the entire experience, right? As if you hadn't cleared any of those things, but those chests you've gotten will stay. So even if you've gotten to one of these battle puzzle levels, you've unlocked a new one and you only beat half of it, go beat half of it. Get those rewards, right? And you can see here, you can preview what each of those rewards is going to be. Obviously, the last chest is going to be the big one in each of these battle puzzles, right? That's huge. You're going to get scrolls, big chunks of these five purple wishes, right? Even on stage three, right, the third battle puzzle, you're already going to be getting a five-star dragon egg and a legendary scroll. These are things you do not want to miss. It's another thing where progress equals income. The higher you reach in campaign, the more these unlock, you just got to work your way up through them. The rewards here are some of the best. Anytime I unlock a new one of these things, it's like my first priority to come in and get all that sweet, sweet loot. Now, each one of these is a different encounter with different enemy types, uh, different scenarios, different puzzles. You may have to align certain uh, portals to, to teleport around the level and figure out how to get to which one. You may have to uh, light braziers in a specific puzzle pattern. You might have to find ways to where you slide across the ice and figure out how to get to other different checkpoints. Now, none of them are ridiculously hard, but I would recommend trying to solve them for yourselves before you go look for a solution. It's kind of the fun in it. I enjoy it every single time. Now, touching back to the point on you can reset the dungeon, you can reset the battle puzzle and keep the rewards you've gotten, just a little pro tip, there might be places where that indeed should be the strategy. I'll leave it at that. Let you figure it out. The Space Temple are going to be just little puzzles with battles you unlock at certain points to get just some sweet, sweet rewards, right? You're going to get that stamina to keep playing. You're going to get gold to spend in the marketplace and to upgrade your gear. You're going to get sweet, sweet summoning stones. Just the rewards here can't be beat. You got to get in there and do it, right? And as you're going through, you will see it'll tell you what the requirements are to unlock the next one. So you can have that as a goal in mind, right? So, okay, there's the next benchmark or checkpoint I need to reach in the campaign, and you can really focus on that knowing you're going to come unlock this and get those rewards. So you can have those clear-cut goals and really push yourself, right? Really things to look forward to. So yeah, Space Temples, one of my favorite parts of Infinite Magic Raid. And uh, yeah, get in there, solve them, get the rewards. I'm JTown, and I will see you in-game. Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.